What's going on, everyone? I look pale as hell, don't I? It's been a little while since I, you know, grabbed the camera and it feels awkward me holding it out with one hand and stuff like that. I don't know, it just feels like it's my first time doing it. But a um, couple things I do want to show you guys. Some things I was working on that I'm really excited for because they're going to be made into something really cool. And here they are. So a friend of mine hit me up and wanted to uh, introduce some Letterman jackets. So he sent me these patches. Uh, I think they're called like Chenayo patches. And I just outfitted them with the uh, the Python skin. I like I really like the way they came out. Especially like I can picture myself with like an all black Letterman jacket with a black leather sleeve. And just rocking all the letters but in like this natural tone right here. And how they originally came was like this black felt background thing. But like with the Chenayo, I guess it was Chenayo. It feels like a, a thick ass towel. But... That's how it came. I ended up cutting it out and uh, outfitting it with the python skin. So I really like the way they came out. They're going to be packaged up and then shipped. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to see the finished product once he's finished with it. And uh, I don't know, maybe order a jacket from him or something. But we'll see how that goes. As most of you guys probably already know, me and Nav opened up our house to Airbnb guests. And for those of you guys, if you've been under a rock for your entire life or for the past two years and you don't know what Airbnb is, Airbnb is basically, uh, you know, for, for our example, we, we uh, converted one of the rooms to a guest room. And so we listed on Airbnb and it's almost like people use it almost like a hotel room, which um, I guess that sounds kind of weird, right? Because hotel rooms aren't really known. For, I don't know. Anyway, so, so basically someone rents out that room. And uh, it's really cool because we get to meet a lot of international people. It gives us an opportunity to really meet a lot of cool people. We have two guests coming today. And um, I'm going to vlog either way. But I'm probably not going to like show you guys who they are unless they want to be on camera. But um, the house is completely cleaned up, which is really surprising. Because even though we try to keep it somewhat immaculate, like I think we... we Due to like the whole Airbnb thing, we try to keep everything uh, as detail oriented as possible. So everything looks pretty clean. Um, you can <laughs> you can obviously tell that a whole bunch of guys and kids live here because everything is like really like bare minimum. There's like no wall decor. I really need to you know do something about that. But everything is like so minimalistic. And if it wasn't for my sister, we I honestly probably wouldn't have this dining room table here or this granite table here or this one right here, or even this couch, because when she moved, she gave, she gave everything to me, and including this weird ass like zebra picture, which honestly, if it wasn't for this, everything would be so bare minimum. And the craziest part is, you guys already know, like, like my fridge literally has like nothing in it. Like, uh, a little thing of milk, that's probably from our last Airbnb guest, a bag of like, wilted broccoli that I will eat today, chicken, and beer. Just woke up from a nap. I get the sleep out. Okay, so right now I'm having about this is for the day. I'm having three quarter cup of rice, but I'm making a cup right now so that way I can share it. And uh, if I can focus on this. Okay, so what's inside of it right now is a cup of rice, uh, about two teaspoons of salt, and that green stuff right there. If you're Hispanic, then you would recognize it as. This stuff right here. I have my um, my pinto beans that I, I rinsed out already. And um, I'm going to add the water. Uh, one thing I, no I did notice about the pinto beans is that, like, I use all my beans already. But, for example, these beans right here, right? It'll say, so carbs, for half a cup, it'll say 20 grams. And it says this whole can has 3.5 um, servings in it. However, what I did was... I rinsed out the beans and then I remeasured the beans and it only has two servings in this, right? So what I'm thinking is that they they actually measure the liquid and stuff like that. So once you kind of wash out that thick kind of like bean syrup, you're actually going to be having a lot less in this can. So it's almost half of the can. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's something I discovered. But um, so here's what I do. I mix all the ingredients together, right? I'm just rinsing out my spoon that I used to put the... Sauce in. Well, I make it the same way you make regular rice. If I'm using one cup of rice, I'm going to use two cups of water. What the fuck is that? 
Alright. And one thing is, is I don't rinse out the rice. I used to rinse it out, but I don't do it anymore. Just because I'm so lazy right now, and I'm not doing it. So, boom. It's right there. And the best way to cook rice, right? I don't care what no one says. I'm Japanese and Puerto Rican. I know how to cook some rice, okay? You put it at one of probably one of the highest settings, right? So if it wasn't white, so you can see is this one says nine. So it's gonna be at nine, right? Let me get my lid so I can cover it. I don't know if this is big enough. Boom, perfect, right? So what's gonna happen is I can hear it boiling already, right? But you're gonna bring it to a boil for about a minute and then right after that, you're gonna drop it all the way down to its lowest setting at one and let it simmer there for a while. And then it, you'll have perfectly cooked rice. So it's gonna be it's gonna do that. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. I doubt it, but I can see like little bubbles forming. As I'm cooking the rice, I'm realizing that the audio probably sucks on the camera because I don't have my mic on it. So I'm gonna add the mic on there and then correct it from here on out. Is the audio just a little bit better now? Like the mic is up there right now. Sorry about that. I was wondering why it looked kind of weird because I, mean, I normally carry around this big ass set. Now the mic is on there. Um, hopefully that the audio is a little bit better now, a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clear. But uh, all right, so now my rice is coming to a, a rolling boil right now. That's when I'm gonna drop it down, right? And I know the coils take some time to kind of like um, cool down a little bit, so sometimes so that way I don't like burn the rice. I take it off for a couple seconds, maybe even up to a minute, just so that way the coils can cool down and then I'm gonna re replace the pan back onto the coil. So, fuck, I just do it right now. Boom, and then like literally like maybe like 10, 12 minutes, the rice is gonna be fully cooked. There's not gonna be any water in there. Everything's gonna be nice and tender and stuff like that. So I guess I'll come back in a minute. All right guys, so at the end of it, your rice should actually kind of look like this. Boom, so like you can see, if you go down to the bottom, it's not wet. I mean, it's, it is just like a little bit, but what I like to do is I like to take it off the heat right now, mix it all around, get everything all situated, then let it sit for like an additional like five minutes, so that way it can reabsorb and just spread around all the flavors and stuff like that. Protein, just honestly, grilled chicken breast right here. That uh, It's not even grilled, it's baked and it has salt and garlic powder and that's about it. One cool tip, I know sometimes that making chicken breast is like really disgusting because it's dry as shit. Put it, like um, cut it, season it, put it in the oven for 225 degrees for one hour. It'll come out really tender and um, not only will it come out tender, but it'll stay tender just as long as you don't overheat it past its like point of like dryness and stuff like that. So our guests finally arrived. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're two young ladies from Brazil and that they're just kind of like traveling and stuff like that. Um, they do live here now. So I don't know. I told them that if we do anything this weekend, we'll hit them up. But um, right now you can see I got my packages here. Got the backpack on, about to hit the gym. And <laughs> we had got these gallons of waters, right? So <laughs> by the Walmart, right? Uh, you can either buy a gallon of water for like a dollar or you can like buy these gallons for like a dollar, like a dollar 40. And then 27 cents there on after to fill them up. So that's what we, that's what I do. Yeah, I spend 27 cents a gallon. That's like more than enough water for the day. So that's what I do. But I was like, yo, dog, like if we have time, let's hit let's hit the Walmart real quick. So that way we could um you know fill up these bottles. He's like he was like, alright, but I'm thinking, yo, the gym, I'm about to just fill them shits up at the gym. Because they have like this this water dispenser that people fill up like their like their little like workout bottles with. I'm like, hey man. They're probably gonna look at me funny, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Them all I want for Christmas is two gold front teeth and ten carat diamonds on a fat gold wreath that I can wear around my neck. Get money and respect. Tell Santa Claus to bring a ten million dollar check so I can spread a little cheer. Fly a couple lives, eat a little chicken, drink a couple beers, kick back and just chill like a player would do. Remix all the Christmas carols, then I'll play them for you. Luda, turn it up until I wake up all the neighbors. They say that I'm a nuisance, but I say they. They all some haters. haters. 